Hello, hope you doing good. In this video, we'll compare two lethal fighter jets. The J-10 was built by China, and the Rafale was built by France. In terms of war zone capability, both aircraft are superior. What we are waiting for, let's get started. The J-10 is a small multi-role fighter with a single engine that can fly in all weather conditions. It was built to carry out strike and air-to-air -air combat operations for the People's Liberation Army Air Force, China. The Rafal, on the other hand, is a twin-engine fighter that can operate from a land base or an aircraft carrier. All combat aviation operations, including air superiority and air defense, close air support, in-depth strikes, reconnaissance, anti-ship strikes, and nuclear deterrence, can be carried out by the totally flexible Rafal. The J-10 is 16.03 feet long, while the Rafale is 15.27 feet long. J-10's wing size is 360 square feet, while the Rafale's has 492 square feet. The empty weight of the J-10 is roughly 9,750 kilograms, whereas the Rafale has a weight of 10,300 kilograms. The maximum takeoff weight of the J-10 is 19,277 kilograms, whereas the Rafale is 24,500 kilograms. AESA radar on the Rafal is equipped with an 838 TR module. It is fully functioning and technologically advanced. Although both the J-10 and the Rafal have a 1M square radar cross-section, the Rafal has a better advantage in spotting the J-10 due to the RBE-2 larger detection area. The J-10 has an internal fuel capacity of 3,860 kg and an external fuel capacity of 3,120 kg, whereas the Rafale has an internal fuel capacity of 4,700 kg and an external fuel capacity of up to 6,700 kg. The J-10 is powered by a Chinese-developed engine which replaces the Russian AL-31 engine that was used in prior models. For long-range interception, it uses the PL-15, a dual-stage BVR AAM with a range of 200 km or more. The Shenyang WS-10 engine, which was developed in-house, can produce up to 140 kN of thrust, whereas the Rafale is powered by two Snecma M88, 4E turbofans that can provide up to 150 kN of thrust. The J-10 has a top speed of 2,305 km per hour, or Mach 2.1, while the Rafale has a top speed of 1,912 km per hour, or Mach 1.8. The Rafale, on the other hand, uses the Meteor, which is considered the best air-to-air -air missile in the world. It uses a next-generation technology called the duct ramjet, which ensures a high range of 200 km, but what's more important is unlike the PL-15. The J-10 has a combat range of 900 km, whereas the Rafale has a range of 1,850 km with three tanks. The J-10 has a ferry range of 3,200 km, whereas the Rafale has a ferry range of 3,700 km. The J-10 has a service ceiling of 56,000 feet while the Rafale has a service ceiling of 51,952 feet. The Rafale has a 304 meter per second rate of climb, 
while the J10 has a 300 meter sick rate of climb. It features 11 hard points that is 6 under the wing, 2 under the intake, and 3 under the fuselage. And 1 Grayes F. Shaipano GSH 23 gun. With a capacity of 5,600 kg of external fuel, it is equipped with 90 mm unguided rocket pods. It carries the PL-8, 10, 12, 15 air-to-air -air missiles, as well as the KD-88 and YJ-91 air-to-surface missiles. It can carry laser-guided, glide-guided, satellite-guided, and unguided bombs weighing 250 kg and 500 kg. Rafal wields a variety of weapons. It is armed with a 30mm GIAT gun that can fire 125 rounds. It features 14 hard points, an external fuel tank with a capacity of 9,500 kg, and ammunition. It transports air to air missions like as MBDA Mica, Meteor, and Magic 2. MBDA Apache, Storm Shadow, and AASM Hammer Air to Ground Missiles, GBU 12, 22, 24, 49 Paveway 2 as 30L, and Mark 82. It is capable of carrying air to surface missiles, such as the MBDA AM 39. It also possesses an ASMP missile for nuclear deterrence. The Rafale jet costs $125 million, nearly four times as much as the J-10C, which costs $35 million. Please let us know what you think about Rafale and J-10 fighter in the comments section. If you liked our video please subscribe to our channel.